I used to have it all. The helicopters, the yacht, the cars. But after one small money glitch, Rockstar decided that they needed to reset my account. Now I'm forced to rebuild my multi-million dollar empire off of nothing. This is my Rags to Riches series, episode 6. What's going on guys, my name is Salty Table, and welcome back to episode 6 of my Rags to Riches series. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. If you are, please hit that like and subscribe button. You guys are what keeps this channel alive. Anyways, today we're going to be doing the prop hunt for uh, Mr. Solomon Richards. And it's going to deal us out about 150k. However, when I went to start it, I was prompted with a survival. Now, if you guys are prompted with a survival, don't worry. You don't even have to complete it. I went and did the survival, and I let the enemies kill me, and it counted it as done. I also tried to quit, and it did not. It just made me go back and start it again. So if you guys encounter that, just let the enemies kill you. I didn't even get past wave one. I mean, unless you want the RP, which survivals are good RP, but I'm just focusing on money currently, and I'll get RP later. So guys, today we're going to be focusing on the prop hunt, and all you need to do to begin this is go into Solomon's office, and when you come out, this is where your first prop is going to be. And that's going to be the film reel. And then the next one is going to be at Vanilla Unicorn. All you need to do is order a private dance. Or you could go in Guns Blazing, shoot it up. And you'll have access to the back. And when you go into the back, you're going to go towards Trevor's office. If you've reached the end of GTA. Uh, you go to Trevor's office. And it's going to be sitting right on the desk. It's going to be kind of a glowing box. I don't really know what it is. But once you pick it up, that'll be your second prop. Now the third prop is going to be at uh, the casino. All you need to do is go on in. And when you're inside, it is a little confusing, so I'll show you it on the map. Is when you're in the, in the actual casino, go north and then go to the right. And it's going to be on the bathroom on the right side of the map. And then when you go inside, you're going to see a helmet just on the last urinal. Pick that up, and that's going to be your third prop. Now the fourth prop, I'll show you its location on the map. It's going to be at this little shack in the middle of nowhere all you need to do is drive up to it and then it's going to be sitting right on the porch now guys if you are wondering you will be getting about ten thousand dollars for each one of these props so if there are ten props ten thousand dollars hundred thousand dollars right there and we get a 50k bonus right at the end and we don't even need help from other players and i'd highly suggest doing this in an invite only session i guess i should have said that first but i would suggest doing this in an invite only session that is the safest way the next prop is going to be hiding over here on the east side of the map kind of over near the dunes all you need to do is run over there pick up the alien head now i'd suggest getting a helicopter for this next part because we're going to fly up north towards the altruist camp kind of by mount chiliad and what we're going to do is we're going to head over there and the prop is going to be sitting right on the ledge, kind of near the ledge on this rock. You can kind of see it there on the right. I'm going to run out and I'm just going to pick it up. Now, don't worry if you die. You do not drop the prop. It's not like cargo. You do not drop it. So I die here. And don't worry if you uh, also had a helicopter. You can see my props just sitting right up there on the ledge over there. So I'm going to make my way back in and get that helicopter. Now the next one's going to be right in the military base, right inside the watchtower. Now I'd suggest doing a car because I tried doing it with a helicopter and it didn't end very well. So I'd suggest taking a car. Now when you come through the gates, if you don't know how to get there, just make a short right. It's your first right, then head straight and you'll see the watchtower. Now I would say use your micro SMG if you are approaching the tower because sometimes there are guards right outside the door. Now it's going to be right on the inside. There's the next prop. And once you get that prop, you can head back. And for some reason, this is prop number seven. But the game, when I turned it in, didn't register that one and, re and called it six. So don't worry. My, my game says six. Uh, but don't worry. That's the seventh prop. Now, for vehicles eight, nine, and ten, they are a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to start with Polito Bay. And I recommend standing right here on the map. And I'm going to show you guys how you can get this vehicle very quickly in under ten minutes, I'd say. All you need to do is come stand at this location, make sure your spawn location is set to last location, stand right there, find a new session, and when you load in, your chances are fairly, fairly well, I'd say, that you get that blue dot on the map. And once you do, go grab the vehicle, and then bring it back to Solomon's office. Very simple. Now the next one, you can use the same that same method 
Uh, mine was at the garment factory. I stood kind of across the street. I set my location the last location and I just joined new sessions until it spawned in. And all you need to do is take out the gang members. And once you take out the gang members, you can just drive that right back to Solomon's office. And that is number nine. And for my last vehicle location, guys, I came right across the street from the Epsilon program. Did the same method, just found new sessions with my location set to last location. And sure enough, the vehicle spawned in right there. Now, this method, it's not 100% going to work every single time you do it. Uh, I would suggest... Um, you know, uh, if if one location doesn't work, try another. And if you're struggling, uh, there are only three vehicles. My game, for some reason, didn't register one prop. It, so if you got all three vehicles and are still at nine, I would check the, the prop locations to make sure that the game got every prop. And now that we have 10 out of 10, we got $100,000 from collecting every prop. We're just going to step outside, wander around a little bit. And I'm going to talk to you guys about the future of this channel for a second as we wait for Solomon's text. Now, guys, I'm wondering if you guys are still, uh, if you guys would be interested in uh, other content besides GTA. I um, have like Among Us, I have City Skyline, Sea of Thieves, Red Dead Redemption. I love making all sorts of content, and I really would like to spread out this channel a little bit more than GTA, which is why I only upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, if you guys are interested in seeing that, comment below what you guys would like to see. Now, as you guys noticed, I got that text from Solomon Richards. All we're going to do is now run back inside, and this is where we're going to get our prize. We're going to wander right in, right up to this box against the window, and here we go. Not only do we get $50,000, but here's a small surprise, guys. We get an alien outfit, too. What a, <laughs> what a silly thing that Rockstar did. That, I mean, that's pretty nice of them to give us the alien outfit, too. There we go, $50,000, and here we are. We're going to put it in the bank. If you guys don't remember... Don't worry, we're going to go down to the Maze Bank app, deposit, and then deposit $70,000. There we go, guys, $80,000, but we are not done yet. I'm not going to end the video here yet. We're going to do our daily objectives. Now, if you notice, I need to get a headshot with the uh, revolver. That's pretty easy. Uh, headshot, I mean, it doesn't need to be a player if you guys get this objective. Here I go. I shoot a normal pedestrian. I go down to my objectives. And boom, that's checked off right there. Now all I need to do is play a round of golf. Now this is like the second time I've had this objective. Uh, on Well, on this, this is the first time I've had it on this account. But I also have another account. So I think this is a pretty common one. So I'll explain a quick way of doing it. All you need to do is when you start up your game of golf, you don't need another player. Unless you enjoy playing golf in this game. I'm garbage at it. But no worries, guys. All you need to do is... Set up just one round. You can even just play one hole. That's all I did. And it, it was pretty quickly. This this was a very fast game of golf. I mean, I'm not really good at it. I didn't even know the controls of how to play golf when I started. I, because I just never played. I, I literally just grind all day. And it is fun to, to do those objectives because it kind of sets you apart. It's like, you know, chill out. Game's not all grind and griefers. It's, it's it's pretty fun just to play a nice cool round of golf here I am I'm trying to figure it out all you need to do is pull back the left joystick and then push it forward but unfortunately I was just kind of playing with all the knobs of my controller kind of like what do I do yeah see there right there eventually I do figure it out I don't know why it took me so long and there we go guys we just finished our next game or our first game of golf on this account and as I load back into GTA, you guys will notice in the bottom left, thirty thousand dollars, five thousand RP. We're almost level twenty-nine, and we are already worth eight hundred and uh, thirty-five thousand dollars. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good start to this new account. I mean, we are only a hundred and I think sixty-five thousand dollars away from a million. Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the sixth episode of my Rags to Riches series. If you did. Please hit that like and subscribe button. You guys are what keep this channel alive. So thanks for watching and take it easy.